Good morning, you guys. <coughs> I um, thought I would do a little video because it's raining. Oh, my chair is warm. Hi, thank you, Ina. <laughs> um, we've had a moderate, it wasn't severe, but it was a moderate drought here. And we're right along Lake Ontario, so other people were getting rain and we weren't. Even though they were in a mild um, drought. Um, finally we got some rain, so I thought I would come out here and sit in the rain with you guys. <laughs> Oh, it feels so good after all that time. It was two months, I think, of no rain. And I don't know if it's... I know that it's, it's a different weather pattern out here because we're so close to Lake Ontario, but I miss thunderstorms. I, we just don't have them. And I... I miss them. You know? nighttime thunderstorms. We don't get those here anymore. Or maybe because of the lake we just don't get them here. I don't know. This is our... Um, we've, lived, we've been here almost nine years. Um, we moved here January of 2010. So way to start off the year. That was pretty convenient, wasn't it? Um, so January 2009 would be nine years. So, um, <coughs> it's, I just love rain. I love it, love it, love it. And I see the, I was just watching the birds earlier <coughs> in the driveway. Giving themselves little bird baths. I'll probably get some raindrops on the camera lens. I can hear the people's wind chimes across the street, too. Hmm. Probably about maybe 7, 7.30 in the morning. <coughs> This is where we have our little <coughs> cat station. This Ina outdoor outside kitty. She's she's not um, a cat that likes to be inside. We've tried, and she I think she was um, a catch and release cat. She's such a nice kitty. She's a very nice kitty. So I think she was either someone's cat or um, something because she was already spayed when she came here. So um, they have a catch and release program here where you can take feral cats and um, get them fixed and shots and everything so that they're healthy and then they release them back to where they were living. And the beach down here, um, probably about five years ago they had a overwhelming population of feral cats. And, um, they had all these voters that were complaining because they were finding the cats were using the inside of their boat for a litter box and probably beds. I mean, they were probably sleeping in there too, which, you know, when you're homeless, what are you going to do? So they took, they started taking care of the problem a little bit better and I think, um, tried to get most of the cats' homes and 
So anyways, it was a good program. So now there isn't a lot of cats down there, but I just wonder if Ina came from there. Because she she's such a nice, I mean, she's very she doesn't like everyone. Like she won't she won't go up to people. But she is used to us now. But we do that with cats. We kind of get them used to us. And um so that they can be happy and live their lives out here. And we we sent we um enclosed this porch for her in the winter. I put up canvas sheets that I made with um, curtain curtain rod pockets. And then we secure it to the floor too so it doesn't move in the winter. That way it's snow and everything. And with, with, amazingly we can put a little heater out here because it's, it's been getting really cold here. So we can put a little heater out here and it really ma maintains a decent temperature for her to stay out here. <laughs> so I thought it was going to stop raining but it just keeps raining. This is wonderful. Yay! <laughs> we needed this so bad. I had to get up on the roof a few minutes ago and... Sorry, I was drinking my coffee. <clears throat> I had to get up on the roof and clean out a gutter because it was clogged. And, um, you know, in the rain, I'm up on the roof cleaning a gutter with a curtain rod. <laughs> Pretty innovative, I'm telling you. Okay. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. But it had a hooked end, so it was perfect. Actually worked out pretty good. <laughs> so I've gotta do, um, work. I'm still working on the Westfield show, so I'll be working in the workshop today. Um, I'm going to put up, or I've already put up, <coughs> I don't know if I'll put it up first or second. I might upload this one first, but I have another video of the workshop. And, um, One of my little birds that I made. <coughs> um, so anyway, um, this might be my video for the day. I don't know. But I'm just so glad it's raining. I had to do a video because it's so exciting to me. <laughs> no more brown. Well, I've got brown all sorts of stuff. Not just the grass, because that really... I could care less with if the grass is brown. But it's all the plants and all of the... the birds and the worms and everything that needs water to survive. I kind of just feel bad for it. So... Alright, well, I guess I'll leave you with that. I hope everyone's having a great day. Thanks for watching.